Of the 55 million deaths that occur every year, about 80% are in low and middle income countries. Yet all the data we have of the causes of death and disease come from rich countries. And we simply do not know how far we can apply the results from the rich countries to the other countries. That is why we designed PURE. This is a uh, prospective cohort study. It currently operates in 27 high, middle, or low-income countries across the world. And we're exploring 14 modifiable risk factors that impact cardiovascular disease and mortality. We found that death rates in the poorer countries were two and a half times to three and a half times higher than that it was in the rich countries, with the middle-income countries being in between. Some risk factors are extremely important from a global standpoint. Uh, risk factors such as hypertension, uh, control of cholesterol, uh, tobacco, uh, also education, which was previously not really recognized as a risk factor per se, uh, is one of the most important risk factors for mortality. What we also found was that the importance of other risk factors really vary depending on the level of economic development of a country. So other risk factors such as poor diet, for example, had a much greater importance in low-income countries and middle-income countries compared to high-income countries. Health policies need to be looked at in two ways. One is there needs to be a focus on a few risk factors that have large global implica implications but there also needs to be a focus, a contextualized focus, on the risk factors that are most important in individual countries or groups of countries based on their level of economic development. 